Hi, today I'm making some graphite oxide. This is a um, 50 micron, 95% graphite powdered form. I'll be using this and I have some 500 microns, which is around about 15% graphite. It's in that sort of form. So I'm going to try that one and I also have uh, larger chunks which is also about 15% graphite. The conductivity on those rocks, not that good, but I'll do a conductivity in my little um, test sample. So I'll go out to the um, experiment. Okay, so what we have in there is 20 mils of uh, around about 96% sulfuric acid with 5 grams of 50 micron 95% pure graphite with 0.5 grams of potassium permanganate added slowly it never heated up or anything so I'm gonna stir that for an hour I had to start off with 35% sulfuric acid and um, put it in the oven and reduced it three times. Alright, so we'll get back. Okay, the five grams was stirred for two hours. I've got it, I got half of it here. The next stage is to um, expand it in the microwave. So we'll just stick that in there and don't breathe the fumes in. It's reacting pretty well. Let that air out a bit. Don't breathe them fumes in. Alright, I'll get back when I um, finish expanding it. Can't quite see in there, so I'll get back later. Okay, I'm back a couple of days later. Um, I couldn't expand it in the microwave, everything I used broke. So I put it in this stainless pot and put it on my burner, gas burner there. And that expanded it, sort of. Um, I was thinking the sulfuric acid wasn't strong enough, but 20 mils of the um, acid I used went into that one litre and it took a hundred grams of uh, bicarbonate soda to neutralize and that's the neutralized state so it's uh, sort of neutral well the bubbling stopped anyway on a hundred grams of um, so I think it's quite concentrated and the results um, I'll, I'll be back in a minute Okay, that one there was the rock form, which was about 20, 15 to 20% graphite content. As you can see, it did expand, but there's other contaminants in it because it's not refined. But that might actually help refining stage. You could pre-process the um, stuff. I'm gonna try soaking that in water and hopefully the graphite flakes will float to the top and the impurities that grey stuff will sink to the bottom of the thing container. I didn't get great expansion. Uh, that was the 96% graphite. Again, I think the particle size was too small. It was uh, around about supposed to be 30 to 50 microns. It did expand. That's part of the filter paper there. This will need washing again and check its pH until it's neutral. But it sort of somewhat did expand. So I'll um, try a few more samples and see what happens. And then I might um, try to concentrate the acid again. But I'm pretty sure that's quite high concentrated acid. It's just the particle size. And then I'll do a resistance test on these powders. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, this is the second attempt. 
if you can sort of see in there it's sort of slightly expanded but I think the um, particle size is too small this time I changed the concentration I used 20 ml of sulfuric acid and one gram of potassium permanganate that was the um, 96 percent content of graphite and I've got the larger graphite which actually looks like graphene oxide because it's brown this one instead of like that other one was black graphene oxide's supposed to be sort of brownish and you can see the stuff floating on the top there this is about 15 to 20 percent graphite content in those two jars that was the um more of a refined version and that was the heavier rock version i just chucked the whole rocks in i didn't even crush them so we'll see what we get and i got it in the filter there i've got graphite or something floating on the top maybe graphene so i'll let that sieve out sieve's not doing too bad a job it's a bit murky it's still taking a hundred grams of um, bicarbonate soda to neutralize 20 mil of the acid the next experiment I'll um, reduce the acid a bit more three more times and see if we get exfoliation I'll be back the um, large rocks but I think it's too contaminated it's not pure enough nowhere near pure enough now uh, that was the 98 well 96 percent graphite content and this one was the finer rock which is much better than this one as well and um, for a quick rough a quick rough resistance test it's on the 200 ohms okay in the 90 six percent just this tray here I'll just stick the probes in just for the loose powder we got like there was 28 then that's not too bad for just prongs and loose powder and for that one not getting a reading on the 200 ohms for that one or oh, the powder's too soft it's got some contamination in it you can see like there's a whitish powder in there, it's probably rock or sand, clay. So I'll just turn the meter up to. Okay, got the probes, uh, the meter's on 2 million ohms. Now we can back that down, we're getting a good reading. Uh, I'll do oh, 200 k ohms for this sort of semi-processed stuff. Um, oh, if we can get a good contact, it's not a real good test. I got a um, probe I got, and plus I'm going to make some um, ink. Okay, we're about like 61. 12 ohms there, so it's probably got potential. And this stuff here, which is the larger stuff, there's even a bit of rock in there, I just left it. It stripped the graphite off it, but it's no resistance at all. I've made this thing up where I can pack the sides, pack the center of that 
with graphite and compress it with these screws and I should get a better reading on the resistance. So I'll um, do pre-processed and then processed resistance tests and we'll see what we get. Till then. Okay, today I'm testing the resistance. I have the first sample which is the 96% graphite content at 30 to 50 microns. I've got that packed. We're on the 200 ohm setting and connecting the two ends. Okay, and we're getting a resistance reading between the two points of 0.3 ohms and the resistance through the meter is 0.3 so we're quite conductive without any binder and we're about 20 millimeters in length so we could call that zero resistance almost going by this meter Right, so I'll test the sample we processed and uh, I'll be back when I set that up. Back with the first sample that was processed. Um, again, uh, no noticeable difference again in resistance. It's on the 200. This time the meter's on a... Checking its resistance is 0.4. And here we're 0.4 again. So, no noticeable or can't read the difference from processing and not processing on that sample. Uh, I don't think it expanded though because it doesn't compress in the graph oil. It does compress when you got it in here because the um, other graphite I had in the first test popped out as a little cylinder which was quite firm. So I'll um, pull this one apart and see if I can pop out the whole cylinder. And we'll do the next test. That one will be a bit different, I think, because it's um, less conductive at the start. So I'll pack the thing and come back. The next sample we're testing is the 500 micron. It's about 15 to 20% unprocessed or reasonably unprocessed graphite. It comes in like little chunks like that. It's crushed down to that color. Probably see the impurities. And that's the processed version. So we sort of have little wormy bits, so we may have exfoliated or expanded this one slightly. It's definitely a different colour. And for the resistance, I've got the tube packed already. It packs differently because it's uh, not as um, smooth, I guess. So for the resistance, we're on the 200 again range. And we're about... 5.4 uh, being this stuff unprocessed in ohms. So that's still not too bad. Unprocessed graphite. Yeah, 5.5. So I'll um, test that stuff and I'll get back. Okay, for the processed version of that stuff, which looks like that, you can still sort of see the impurities in it. But, having a quick test, it's on the 200 ohms. This is, uh, it started off at 5.5 ohms resistance. We've got it down to 1.3, so 1 ohms. Bridging into meter, we get about 3 to 4. So, we've got the best results on that form of graphite, 1.3 ohms resistance and for the last sample don't know if it's even worth testing it's a sort of same content but it's in its rock form more it's got like some white stuff maybe some sort of talc or something 
It's unregisterable on 200 ohms. Take it up to 2M. All right, we're like 5 million ohms or something in certain areas. Where are we actually best? 200K. All right, yep. 2.2 on the 200K range. So I'll test that, we'll do a test. I won't break this one up because it will probably be like 5.5 again or something in that cylinder. So I'll test the processed powder, which came out brown. I think it's got like rock which dissolved. You can see a piece of rock in there. There was other pieces and they just sort of crumbled up. So I'll check that and I'll get back. Okay, back with the, um, that sample, which is more raw in our little pod which would probably be quite surprising. I checked the resistance already. We're on the 200 range. We were up on 200K range. So, uh, so now we're at 31.6 ohms, which ain't too bad for a um, pretty contaminated sample, but still not too bad for sort of a raw graphite with rock mixed into it. Okay. So hey, that's for that lot of tests. I'm um, gonna reduce the acid again, just in case I'm not at like 98%. It's only a bit of a hit and miss at the moment. It did have lots of um, sulfur dioxide gas coming up, but maybe it needs to be thicker for it to get to that level of 98%. So I'll um, get back with those results later on. Okay, back. This stuff here is my homemade activated feather carbon. It's almost as resist, um, resistant as, well, resistive as graphite. So I've got it again, got it in the little meter device. We're on the 200 ohms. A little round device. Okay, we're at. 0.5 ohms, which ain't too bad for it. Oh, 0.4. So we're at the same resistance as the graphite. That's the meter being shorted. 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Depends where you hold the probe on the little um, brass bolts. Yeah, 0 0.4. So that's actually my best carbon to date. I can make at home. That's a uh, feather carbon. It's a bit expensive to make, but uh, not too bad. So there you go. I will um, reduce the acid, reprocess those batches, and probably make a bit more of that one, the top one, which is the large rock sample. So I think that one might exfoliate. And I might also try some powder I bought, which is uh, 325 mesh, 45 micron, and I'll give that a try. I'm not sure where that one would have come from, but the um, this stuff here is Australian graphite from a South Australian mine. So it's not bad quality. It's actually quite good. Alright, so I'll um, get back.